Go, go be a vampire. <laughs> I'm having protein oatmeal for breakfast, honey, and this is how I do it. I'm using one of these this morning. This is the Kodiak protein oatmeal, the maple and brown sugar. It has 12 grams of protein, but this is how I bump it up and sneak in even more. I cooked it with half a cup of the Fair Life milk, and this is the protein milk, and it's the 0% one. And I added half a cup of that, a quarter cup of water, stirred it up, and then I added in half a scoop of protein powder. This is the maple cookie to go with the maple theme. This is HTLT Sup's best tasting and blending protein powder ever. Code Nicole will save you 15% off, and the link is down below. I mixed it all together and cooked it in the microwave for two minutes, but I took it out and stirred it every 30 seconds until I liked how it looked. Now, I'm gonna top it with half a cup of thawed frozen straws, like that. You gonna add some syrup. This is the Steve's Maples. Hey, open this up, buddy. This is the Steve's Maples. It's the low-cal syrup. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this. Along with it, I'm having a Diet Pepsi, well, Pepsi Max, and a large black coffee. I wanted to do a full day of eating and show you guys my new fat loss meal plan and how I easily get in 144 grams of protein every day. And my meals are super tasty, filling, and baller, including this one. So stay tuned because you're going to see some great stuff, buddy. So. For this entire meal, it's 326 calories and 34 grams of protein. Whoa. Yeah. Mmm. that has got a really good maple flavor. This is so good. I'm gonna stir it all in there. The fiber with the berries and then the protein, gonna fuel me, cause after this, I'm gonna go for a 50 minute walk with my Sasa Rooney, honey. This is the oatmeal dance. <laughs> Just got back from cardio. It's time for lunch. I'm having a ham sandwich with carrots and dip, three ounces of baby carrots, one tablespoon of light ranch, and this is the GV light ranch. I've got a teaspoon of mustard two slices of the Kirkland Smoked Black Forest ham, and two slices of the Dempster's whole wheat bread. I am trying to sneak in protein everywhere. And by choosing like whole wheat bread, um, you can actually get in some decent protein, seven grams for two slices. So lots of sneaky, tasty ways to do it. And I've already had a bottle of water. I'm drinking another one. Calories for this lunch, 313 and 20 grams of protein. And the friends, I've lost 130 pounds. I've kept it off for over nine years. And I eat this way because it works. I need my meals to be tasty and I need them to be full of protein because I have a huge appetite and it's normal to be hungry when you're eating in a calorie deficit. So, and if I don't like it, I won't stick to it. I tried years and years of eating boring stuff, taking away carbs, doing a lot of bull <laughs> and it didn't work. I couldn't stick to it. It wasn't sustainable. Eating meals that I really love and including bread because I love it. I'm Italian, carbs are in my blood. <laughs> Finding ways to sneak in protein so that I can feel fuller longer. This is how I do this, how I've done it every day and why it works. Let's have this sandwich because I love sandwiches. It tastes better if you cut it on a diagonal. It really does. Like, I don't know what it is, but you have to cut it on an angle. You know, if you told me, even though we've been dieting like this for years, I still would go, wait, a sandwich and carrots is 20 grams of protein? Yeah. It seems like a lot of protein, but it is. Yeah, that's because you find the bread that has the most protein. You find the lunch meat that has the protein and you eat what you like so that you can do this. 
and I lost my weight with portion control. If you wanna know more of the meals and exact portions that I ate to lose the weight, I have a weight loss ebook. It's called The First 50. Check it out, the link's down below. Code Nicole will save you 10% off. Now let's bite this hammy. Mm. I always say this, but there's something about ham and mustard that makes me, <laughs> yes. I have like a rhythm going, so I'm not stopping. You have the best rhythm ever. <laughs> I am prepping something for dessert. I'm super excited because my aunt sent me this for my birthday. Um, it's Kodiak protein packed muffin mix and it's double dark chocolate. So I'm basically gonna follow the instructions on the back, but I'm just gonna replace a couple of things to make it a bit higher protein and a little lower calorie. So you need a bag of this and then two large eggs. It calls for one cup of milk. Instead of regular milk, I'm gonna use the low calorie, the 0% fair life because it's protein plus lower cal. So we're gonna up the protein and lower the cows it also calls for a third cup of oil or melted butter. I'm replacing that with a third cup of melted margarine. I use the country crock because it's low cal. It's two teaspoons for 35 cows for reference. So I've got the oven preheated to 375 and it says it makes 12 to 14 muffins. I'm gonna do 12. So I have this muffin tin sprayed really well with cooking spray. We got the eggs in the bowl already. You basically just combine it all together in the bowl and then divide it between the muffin containers. So let's do it. Got the mix, milk, marge. Let's whisk it. It tastes like chocolate cake. Mmm, okay. So, let's divide them. Divide the batter between the muffin thingies. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup per muffin thingy, and then go from there. All right, there we go. So it looks like it's gonna do perfectly 12 quarter cups. I always do that like when I'm taking a box of something, if it says it makes, let's say like 12 to 14, I always go on the lower one to be safe because I wanna make sure that I get a decent size serving. I don't want something really little because then I won't feel satisfied. Um, getting like a full quarter cup muffin worth is gonna satisfy me. So I'm just gonna scrape the rest of this into anything that looks a bit low. Like that. It, Kyle off camera was like, oh my gosh, it smells like brownie batter. You're right, it does. Like cake mix and brownie mix together. It's gonna be so good, I already know. Get in there. Okay. Oh, any other one look? Maybe this one. I think there's chocolate chips in here too. That this one? is like reverse black. Okay, <laughs> and I got a little bit left if we see it. Whoopsie, uh, maybe this one. You know what else one's low? This one. <laughs> 12 to 15 minutes, so I'm gonna set the timer for 12 and then check it with a toothpick. Dinner, I'm having Greek chicken pasta salad because I had leftover noodles, so I thought let's make something cool. I boiled Four and a half ounces of pasta, so half for me, half for Kyle. This is the whole grain rotini for about 10 minutes until it was soft. So this is one cup cooked. And now I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper to taste, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in my ingredients. So I've got 100 grams of cooked chicken strips. This is the rotisserie chicken strips from Walmart, the GV brand, cut up into small pieces. I've got all my Greek toppings here. Two tablespoons of sliced black olives, a quarter cup of cucumbers cut into quarters, about a tablespoon of thinly sliced red onion, five cherry tomatoes cut into quarters, 
30 grams of light feta and I'm gonna toss it all with this calorie wise Greek with feta and oregano dressing the craft kind so I'm just basically gonna put most of my ingredients in the bowl except for the cheese because I'm gonna top everything with that let's do most of it and then let's toss it with the two tablespoons Two tablespoons, one, two, use the spoon, toss it around. Now you can let this marinate if you would like in the fridge once you put it together um, for a few hours, but I don't wait for anything because that's just not who I am. I'm just gonna put it all together, sprinkle it with my feta, give it another little bit of a toss. Oh wow, look at how beautiful that is. All right, that is my supper, and I'm having it with a Diet 7-Up, the cranberry, sorry, I call it diet. It's 7-Up, zero cranberry. I don't know how to say diet. Can't say diet, it's zero, 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 get it in your head, Nicole. And a pineapple bubbly, that's the French side, oops. There we go, pineapple bubbly. So for this, it is 526 calories and 38 grams of protein. That's how you add it in so cute and fun and tasty like that. <laughs> do you think it's possible to get everything on my fork? Yes, you can oh, do it. Okay, wait, I need, I got one of those, huh? <laughs> get an onion, <laughs> get a cheese. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, but not a noodle, oh man. Ah, okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Mmm. That's like really fresh. Sorry. Oh, oh. Mmm. People like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so those muffins took 15 minutes at 375. For dessert, I'm having two of them with one cup of fresh sliced Drobs, and that is 356 cows and 20 grams of protein. So, let's have a taste of them. Wow, look at, can you see all the chocolate chips on camera? Whoa, there's like a bunch in there. I got really excited over that. Mmm. Those are really good. Wow, that's a great mix. I'll be getting that again. Mmm. Two thumbs up, babe. <laughs> and now for the last meal of the day. Oh, 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 oh. We're making a chocolate party Greek yogurt bowl. Ah, 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 ah. I was being the count, get it? Well, I thought it was the real count track for a second. It was, pretty, it was pretty good, wasn't I? Pretty convincing. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna be for Halloween? Maybe. It's got a mask on the back. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Okay, this is my bedtime snack. I've got three quarters of a cup of plain Greek yogurt. And I use the one from Costco. And then half a scoop of the s'mores protein powder, HTLT seps. So I'm just gonna put that in here, stir it together until it's really well combined. And this stuff blends really well and makes like a really thick, tasty, sorta dessert style protein yolk. Put some elbow grease in there. <laughs> you can skip this step, but as usual, I gotta put it in a cute bowl for thumbnail action. And I've been having a lot of chocolate cravings, so that's why I'm calling this a chocolate party <laughs> Greek yogurt bowl. So we got the s'mores protein, and we're gonna top it with, of course, the Count Chocula, half a cup. I love this because it's fairly decent calories. One cup is 140 cows, so I'm only using half. I'm gonna put that in on the side, and then we'll put in a teaspoon of milk chocolate chips. And I love the great value of milk chocolate chips. They're delicious. 
Do you think sassy here or on the Count Chocula? Here. Here. No, here. Here? And here. Here. And here. here. And here. Here. And there. And one there. And there. Oh. <laughs> okay, so calories for this. 257 cals and 32 grams of protein. Oh, so let's take a little bit. You need a marshmallow, chocolate chip, yog, and a Count Chocula. See that? Let's go, bud. That's a fun way to hit your protein. Uh-huh. And get out your chocolate cravings. Oh my God. I am going to finish that, but first, I'm gonna give you the cows for the rest of the day for the total total calories 1778 39 grams of fat 214 grams of carbs and 144 grams of protein guess what i hope you've seen dieting doesn't have to be boring and what i found really works for me to get and keep the weight off is find really tasty ways to sneak in protein and satisfy my cravings all day long so that I feel full and I don't feel deprived because if I get rid of my favorite stuff, I'll never stick to it. So I need to find low calorie ways to meet my cravings, but add protein to it to keep myself full because it is normal to be hungry when you're in a deficit trying to lose weight, but also I have a big appetite. I'm always hungry, so this really helps. And weight loss should never be a punishment. If you don't love it, you're never gonna do it for a long period of time. Trust me, <laughs> I know. And it wasn't until I started letting myself eat this way um, that I started to be successful. So watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips from real friends losing weight in the real world. This one and the cute one behind the camera. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll catch you in the next big kiwi. Thanks for watching. I'm out. You just need your cape and then you're set. What can I use for a cape? Oh. Okay, guys. Now we're cooking. I'll catch you in the next vid, cutie. Ha, 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 ha. Let's go be a vampire. What do vampires do? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.